What's your name and where are you from? Hi, I'm Jennifer Train. I'm from Highland Park, California. Oh, my dad's Arnold Schwarzenegger, by the way. And how long have you lived in Venice for? I've lived in Venice for off and on for about three years. I used to work here about 20 years ago when Google, who's down right here, Google campus is right down here off of Sunset and Hampton, was digital domain. I was a receptionist oh, wow. at Digital Domain. I worked with two to three under other visual artists. I worked for a gentleman named Scott Ross. I don't know if you know Scott. He's the best guy on the planet. He came down from ILM working with George Lucas. Yeah, really awesome guy. Oh, and James Cameron, who's a total prick on set, I heard. <laughs> so I love the gossip. What made you uh, move to Venice then? Well, I actually came out here for a concert one night. I've been living in downtown. I'm a, I'm a veteran of downtown LA, Skid Row. A 14 month tour of duty downtown, living mostly outside, not in a shelter. And let me tell you. On Skid Row? On Skid Row. Fifth in San Pedro. I know all the prostitutes. I know all the pimps. I know all the bloods. I know all the crips. I know all the block captains. I lived in Skid Row for 14 months, and I can tell you I, that qualifies me to be a veteran because if I'd gone to war, it would be like a 14 month tour of duty, and that's exactly what it was. What do, what do you see for yourself in the near future? Oh, YouTube channel. YouTube channel? Yeah, Sir Thriving Skid Row Tips and Tricks for Surviving LA Skid Row from a Woman's Perspective. Good one. It's a good one. It's long, but it's a good one. It's gonna have a colon in there somewhere. I'm coming out here to Venice to heal, to heal myself, and to work on my projects and to get in shape. I just got, got cast in, I'll probably be a background fighter or something, but I got cast in a movie that shoots in Romania in February. So I gotta start pumping it up. <laughs> what type of things did you see in Skid Row? What? Oh my God, I saw the most horrific things that you could imagine. Can you, can you Any say? human being to see. Dead bodies? How about that? Multiple. Saw my first multiple dead bodies. Not on the same day, thank you very much. Yeah. But I've been beaten into the street. I've been fucking hit over the head with a pipe. Yeah. Stolen bicycles. I've been beaten in the ground because they think I'm a white woman and nothing against you white folk out there. But I'm a red skin warrior. I identify as pink. <laughs> I'm German. German, I'm German. Well, what's your background then? You said. Ethnicity? Yes. Okay, so my first last name, because I was adopted, well, was Seaman. That's a good one to grow up with, Seaman. <laughs> There's a joke in there somewhere. Oh, then it became Reichardt, like Reichardt, like the Third Reich. Yeah. This is Fight the Power, by the way, no. And so that was funny, Reichardt, I've been adopted three times. Then there's Schroyer the Destroyer. Schroyer was my last name, the Destroyer. Like Conan is my dad. Conan's my dad, he needs to cut his hair off and grow it long, like Conan again. We're gonna start filming in February. Anyway, he's my papa. Papa, papa, I'm a Schwarzenegger. I'm a shorty nigger, Schwarzenegger. Anyway, <laughs> I'm a comedian too. I've done copious amounts of drugs here. You said, say it again? I've done copious amounts of drugs out here. What I'm telling you. Crystal meth, mostly. Really? Cocaine, mostly crystal meth. I don't drink, I'm native. I don't want to be drunk Indian, it's not a good look on me. What does it, what does the crystal meth do to you? What does it do for you? It helps me get oh, shit done. Yeah, I really? Thank you. Yeah, I have ADHD I and it's like taking Adderall. Mm. But I sit in ceremony with people. Do you and stay we up sit. for days off of it or? Oh hell yeah, but I'm bipolar like Kanye, so fuck it. I'm up for days anyway. But it replicates crystal meth use. Like I got kicked out of the shelter the other night. Yeah. Seriously, for crystal meth use, no. For being bipolar, yes. And that's a fucking crock of shit. Because you wouldn't demonize someone with brain cancer. Yeah. Or polio, or it's a, not a mental health disorder. And I, quite frankly, I don't think that it's from fucking just natural things. I think it's actually my bipolar is from huffing fucking carbon dioxide for eight years. Eight years. I was poisoned by carbon monoxide poisoning. Eight years in my house in Highland Park with dual water heaters that weren't vented properly. I've been sucking fumes and I got early onset dementia because of it now. Wow. It's fucked. So the, does the And it's not the drug trip. Does the crystal meth even that out then? Yeah, totally. So, so it, so it I use it in conjunction with regularly prescribed medication. Okay. This is infection medication I just got. I got, oh, this is great. Staph infection, very common. Staph bacteria, especially if you're working out, I'd imagine. Yeah. It's clean yeah. everything. Staph, 
I just got a staph infection. I'm not going to show it on camera, but it is gnar gnar. And I've had lice twice now. I just lost all of my fucking hair, which I'm attached to my hair, let me tell you. I love my hair. This is fucking fake. This is clipped in in the back and braided. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. I'm getting cornrows, man, like fucking Bo Derek now. <laughs> uh, you got poisoned, and I lost my house. I had a three-bedroom, two-bath house in Prime Highland Park Avenue, 53 in Figueroa. And how did you lose it? What happened? Uh, I got sick and sick and sick and couldn't work. Oh, wow. Yeah, nar nar. So it was you lost really... your job then, too? I lost my job. I work for myself, pretty much, but and friends. Wow. But I pretty much work for myself. But I couldn't work. I'd be in bed all fucking day, sucking more fumes. Yeah. I'd hang out on the porch a lot, get the fresh air. Yeah. Plus, it's rad. It's a rad porch. And so you've been in Venice for three years the whole time you've been homeless? Uh, yeah, well, I came back about two years ago. Okay. Came back for a concert that was actually ended up being downtown. Mm. I came all the way from Skid Row, dropped my bags, checked myself into the shelter one more time, which is an abomination. They don't have a paid cleaning staff. What they don't the pay fuck? A cleaning staff? No, they don't pay a cleaning staff. What kind of horse shit is that? So, how clean is it? Volunteers, it's disgusting. It's disgusting? It's disgusting. Yeah, it's There's fucking shit on the fucking duct work that's falling down on us night and day 24 7. we have respiratory infection my aunties in wheelchairs can't get anywhere it's fucked up they got kids there they're the only shelter that has kids there i'm not going to name their names but you know the one i'm talking about probably you you'd rather be on the streets than in the shelters because oh my god you it's can, you less can, can staff infection, less lice. You got lice both times at the shelter? Fuck yeah. So you've never got lice out here? Just Never as a kid, never out here, never sleeping outside. We're not getting COVID. We ate out of the garbage cans. Wow. How, how did, how did uh, COVID affect uh, you out here since? Oh, I've been tested. I ended up getting the vaccine. I never even get a flu shot. But I was like, I want to be in compliance. Plus, I was coming off like a two-day high of crystal meth, yeah. and I was taking the bus back. I just handed back, meeting some ex-gangbanger blood in the rolling 20s over at Crenshaw in Washington. He's a badass. He's a badass. He's like a Yakuza model. He's got a house in Japan, but he's a reformed gangbanger. He teaches anatomy and physiology at USC, wow. but I dated him for a while, and it went south quickly. Yeah. And I took the bus home, and they had the crew set up there with from the fire department. And I was like, yeah, I got fucking the thing. Hey. It was like here. You feel any different from it? No, from I got thing? a little sick. Maybe oh. I, like flu. It was like my glands might have swollen up a little bit, but okay. fine. Two, three days later, I was like, fine. With the drug use, do you do crystal meth like on a daily basis? To even your yeah, this this this, this time around, it's been kind of daily on the daily. Well, I just came out of a depressive state, so I was like 21 days down in my cubicle with the lice, fucking combing my hair out. It's terrible. It's terrible. And I had someone gifted me five dollars, but they wanted to be discreet about it, so they put it in a magazine. But they had left their dope in there too. And they gave it to me. It's not someone I see all the time, so I just sit there and do <laughs> snort fucking meth every like 12 hours wow. and sleep and you can't go to sleep when you're on meth you can you totally can? go to sleep oh, yeah okay. thing they're doing now people are passing out because it's fucking fentanyl they're cutting it with and yeah. fentanyl is a killer it's fucking way worse than um, heroin and they've been fucking killing our brothers and sisters out here with that fentanyl. Now they're cutting it to create that opioid hook into it. So now they create, you crave it or you're sick, feeling sick the next day. Do you not, so you want it more and Do you more. not worry about uh, 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 getting th th fentanyl? COVID? In, 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 no, no, getting fentanyl in your... In oh, your I was bed. already, I overdosed already this year. Really? Yeah, we thought it was crack. We found it in a hotel parking lot on La Brea in Hollywood. Anyway, it's a questionable area, um, but it was fine, but it was crap. And my friend was like, get that shit out of here. All I did was do this on the desk. I was down in 20 minutes. Yeah. I don't know if the guy had to carry me to the car, take me to Cedars Sinai. I woke up at Cedars with fucking like six holes in my arm. Turns out I had a blood infection and a UTI, urinary tract infection. They just flushed me out for two days and sent me on my way. And they, I got, Shout out to fucking Cedars. You guys rock. Seriously. They treated me with such kindness and compassion. And they knew I was some homeless drug addict. Yeah. I'm not a drug addict. I don't identify as a drug addict. Like I don't identify as white. Yeah. I don't. 
It's I'm managing my life. I'm getting shit done. Like ID replaced for the thousandth time because my purse got stolen, or another Obama phone. I don't know. That's crazy. It's crazy hard to get the hardest thing done. Like earn my own money out here. Yeah. People are doing it left and right. I'm just gonna start selling drugs. Fuck it. How, how do you how do you uh, make a living out here? How do I you don't. I, I rely solely on my general relief fund which is $221 a month, plus 234 in food stamps. And I got stacked cash, stacked. Yeah. I got 900 food stamps currently. Yeah. Sell it for cash. Okay. It's illegal, but I'm not gonna, no make... one's gonna report my fraud, I don't yeah. think. I gotta make that money, some money. Yeah. But I'm in the shelter, three meals a day, what am I, I can buy nice snacks and juices and fucking Erewhon and fucking Whole Foods. <laughs> Uh, but they have the best coffee over at home. In the shelter, food. you can't do, they, they, they pr prohibit doing drugs? Yeah, you can't do, oh, everyone does them in the bathrooms, in the showers, they fuck in there too. Really? Yeah, because it's men's in a women's dorm. Wow. Where are people supposed to have sex? We have couples in there. Yeah. Where are they supposed to have sex and do drugs? In the bathroom. Oh, we had an overdose about a month ago. Yeah. Fentanyl overdose. He was schizophrenic. He was a lovely gentleman, and he took himself out with fentanyl. He died from it? Yes, and we had a heart attack the week before. So we've been hurting over there a little bit. You know, we've been hurting. Yeah. But the community here is so supportive of us. They dropped me a bikini today, and nuts, and waters, and clothes, and yeah. the Venice community is so generous when it comes to helping the homeless. Except for this bitch on the side street in the liquor store. I went to a party at her house. It was a concert. Mm -hmm. It was like a guitar player, two guitar players. And it was benefiting, they were like talking about Helping the homeless community here, but I'm the only homeless person fucking there, and I wandered in off my own. Yeah. And I ate a, you know, brownie and a slice of pizza yeah. before they asked me to leave the party. I'm like, why? Why? Yeah. No fucking reason. I'm a local. That's crazy. I'm local. Charlie Chaplin is my great grandfather. Okay. For real. For real. Schwartz is my dad. Chaplin's my fucking great grandfather. I'm a Rothschild from the Americas, so I don't get shit for money. On what side? On my dad's side and my mom's side. My and mom was black. My great grandmother, no, my mom was not black. My great grandmother was black and fucking, thank you, Portuguese, half and half. She was a high yellow nigga, but I have her family history, the train family history, it goes back to 1647. Wow. American Revolutionary War, dude. And and we also dad? had a guy named Farquhar. And your dad's side? On my dad's side, I have three fathers, four fathers. So, four. which one do you want? Bobby Jean, the footballer. The biological Academic, one. biological. My bio dad lives in Huntsville, Texas. He's had a van for me for two years. They don't know where I am, if I'm dead or alive. It's fucking sad. But he's had a van for me for like two years. But I don't want to go to Huntsville because that's where the penitentiary is. And I might just start a pen pal letter and fucking end up marrying somebody in prison. I don't think that's God's will for me. Yeah. <laughs> so your dad, your biological dad's in Texas? He's in Texas, in Huntsville, Texas. Okay. Yeah, but he's got two vans for me. And so I'm going to bring them out, maybe sell it, turn it around. you have no, uh, no, no kids or anything like that? No kids. I never met a king that I wanted to have any kids with. Wow. Sad for me. Yeah. The last serious relationship I was in, I thought we were going to get close. But he didn't want children, and it was a deal breaker, so I broke up with him. Wow. And I was 38, I went into early menopause, I think partially, mm -hmm. because of the fucking carbon monoxide. And I was malnourished, malnourished, but also at times high functioning, high functioning, super nutri nutritious, super food type of person. Mm -hmm. Fluctuates probably, depending on my bipolar state of mind. But it's not a state of mind and we can't help it. Like, hey, your chat's really nice. What does that mean? Are you Welsh? No, that's Danish. No, I'm Prussian. You're Prussian? You are, yeah. Prussia. Prussia. Dude, turns out Schwarzenegger? Are you a Schwarzenegger? No, he's Austrian. I know, but are you a Schwarzenegger because they're like next door neighbors, right? No, I'm a von Fulmer. Oh, so von Fulmer. In reverse. <laughs> In reverse. I'm a wigger, wigger, sand digger, nigga. Austrians did it, but we got blamed for it. Exactly, and the Germans were fucking evil people. Just kidding. They're all Nazis. Just kidding. Can you tell me if, uh, what do you think about the cops, the law enforcement out here? Oh my god, I love our police force here. They're like, fuck the police. I'm all, no, not fuck the police out here. Our brothers in arms out here are not getting shot in the fucking streets. 
Sorry, I'm passionate about that. Yeah, black lives matter, but red lives matter too. The kids on the reservations have nothing to do but drink beer and play basketball, and they're stabbing each other, then raping each other. It's disgusting. Does it ever make the news? No. You only heard about fucking Minnie Wachoni fucking the pipeline coming through Standing Rock when a fucking white girl, a blue-eyed blonde white girl got her arm blown off by a rubber a rubber bullet and that is what made national news first. And the, the po fuck? The police out here are fine with the They're adults. amazing. No, they monitor us all the time. This is full of tents. They just moved it. They're reclaiming their sidewalk and they put cactus in. But we got plenty of room over here. I don't know where our brothers and sisters are that got kicked off the beach. I haven't even been down to the beach. I've been too busy up here and on third. My buddy Gary, Uncle Gary, is monitoring around here. What's up, team captain? Nice to see you. See you in there next month. Sure. Thanks. <laughs> hot. You're hot. <laughs> well, we should go on a date for tea. Take you on a yoga and tea date. <laughs> Sorry, I'm obnoxious. No worries. But, so how's that? So that was, was good. I, I, I want to know one thing though. Um, what's the most valuable lesson you feel like you've ever learned in your life? Oh my God, that God is on my side. Oh. <laughs> That's a pretty good one, right? Good one. God is always on my side. People steal all my shit. I, God gives me better shit. It was so great being here, yeah. hanging out with my, my home, front of my home. Yeah. I'm high by the way right now. All good. <laughs> <laughs> it took a little time.